Hello everyone and welcome to the Void Frogs Podcast episode number 16. My name is Stiflerd and I am joined, as always, by the delicious V Q Magnet and two very special guests. Whoa! Temples to totems. This all-star team has packed a pretty punch into every project they've produced, Dr. Seuss. They've created cake creepers, castle cuties, beach bonfires, secret agents, and even skyblock dinosaurs. Are you kidding me? They taught the world how to fit a base into a backpack. Some would even say they are hamsterific. Please welcome the resident fashionista of Minecraft and the thermal smelting master of mods, Razzleberry Fox and Drulkus of Razzleberry! Woo! Oh. <laughs> Hands terrific, aren't you? Yeah, it Thanks was. For having... <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for having us on your podcast. It, yeah. Podcast, right? It, po- it, 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 it's a podcast. It's Tomorrow a podcast. Be... <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> how are yep. you? How are you doing? How are you too? Ah, uh, pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. Pretty yeah, awesome. I'm good. Cool. Chilling. Okay, Chillin'. so before we get into the whole segment and all that sort of stuff, why don't you? Why don't Raj? You start off. You introduce who you are, what you do, where you came from, and then draw because you can say your thing in Minecraft too. Awesome. Okay. So, um, I'm Raz. I started playing Minecraft in the alpha, so like 10 years ago. Yeah, long time. Um, I started with mods because I thought Minecraft could use some more decorating and whatever. So I couldn't do enough with just the alpha and beta blocks before we didn't have as many blocks as we do now. Um, So that's where I started. Um, And what do I do now? I uh, still work on my mods, and I'm always, like, have new ideas for mods and more of a problem to find coders to help me code because I can't really program very well. Um, So, yeah, I have worked on other games as well um, that have been, like, on Steam and stuff. Um, Staxel. I also worked on Minecraft Dungeons. I worked at Mojang for a while as well. Um, and then I got offered to start a marketplace. Uh, well, it wasn't a team. It was just me in the beginning. Um, and it, we've been making marketplace content for three, going on four years now. Wow. Um, yep. Yep. And that's that's all I do now, marketplace stuff. That's all you do. <laughs> I highly <laughs> that. All right, Charles, just give the rundown. What's your story here? So, um, I've been playing the Minecraft since, um, um, one, two, yeah, w- since 1.2, and, um, how long ago is that? Is that, like, 40,000 years ago? It's quite a well, while. Probably, like, <laughs> probably, like, seven years ago or something yeah. that I know. I was close. Uh, yeah. yeah. Close, I guess, yeah, um. And then I went to modding like pretty quickly after that, playing with like a uh, tech and stuff, and uh, yeah. along the way destroyed the server economy. Uh, so that's fun. Um, <laughs> and then I was like really inspired by all these mods people made. So uh, like equivalent exchange, rip power. So I went to create my own like a uh, Thumbcraft add-on. Um, unfortunately, that didn't work work out. Um, so I have few work like a year or two of like flopping with the uh, mods until I start working for Chisel. And where it just was constantly making textures for Chisel. Um, and it's like uphill from there, pretty much working on uh, Twilight Force and uh, also Thermal Expansion. And now uh, some RTS stuff for Razzleberries. Although I've been working with Razzleberries before that, but I would say yeah. that. I was going to say, speaking of Razzleberries, you like totally jammed a lot of stuff in there. <laughs> but I'm. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's you. You two are so busy. Like, oh yeah, I've done so much stuff in the community, and you're oh, yeah. both you're both involved in the Razzleberries. What do we call it? like the marketplace team, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, superhero so, team, coalition, superhero team. league, yeah, secret agents. It's like <laughs> oh, a yeah. cooperative. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, 
Like we try, <laughs> we try for it to be a cooperative. So we like oh, yeah. split all the proceeds among the team and. Aww. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Okay. We try. I'll, I can take some proceeds anytime. <laughs> help us with some stuff and you can take some proceeds. <laughs> Okay, so little fun section, not section, but little fun question. I always like to kind of start off with, where did you come up with your Minecraft name? Very important. Drawcus, you start since Raz started <laughs> last time. <laughs> um, yeah, so um, actually has to do with a, uh, so there, it was this Flash game that I played a long time ago on, unfortunately, Facebook. And it's not Farmville. No, it's called. Unfortunately, <laughs> Face- I hate Facebook. I had to play this game. <laughs> I have it blocked on all my devices. Facebook is banned on all my devices now. But Amen. Was- <laughs> yeah, um, there was this monster in uh, this game called Backyard Monsters, and it's um, it's called Drill. Um, and then I have a bit of a cringy history with um, some other um, some other communities. So, but. Um, the last bit of my name, Kiss, is just from that community, so it was, I just, just opted for Trollkiss, and then I brought it through Team Fortress 2, and then now Minecraft. And you... Drolkis, uh, every time I think of your name now, Drolkiss, I think of, like, a, like you're a villain. Like you're, yeah. <laughs> like, uh-huh. Some ability. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, what if I am a secret supervillain? Yeah. yeah. We'll find out. We'll find out. <laughs> Uh, oh Razzleberries, how about you? Where where did your name come from? So, <laughs> it's, uh, <laughs> I really like the color pink. Um, and obviously pink everything was taken. And I like foxes because I thought they were cute at the time. It was like this <laughs> passing fad of liking a bunch of different animals. I like turtles, now I like foxes, tomorrow I like unicorns, whatever. <laughs> but at that, that point, it was like, I like foxes. I need a name. I like the color pink. Pink, favorite animal. Let's merge them together. But there was obviously already someone called Pink Fox online or whatever. Oh, my God. It's so cringy. And then I was like, what? Is there other names for the color pink? So I went and looked online for, like, synonyms of pink. And I found after, like, going around um, that Crayola, the crayons, have a color of pink called Razzleberry. Oh. I thought that was super cool. So I just squished them together and it's a yeah. Razzleberry Fox. And yeah. that's that's where it came from. Nice. Only, you both have extremely unique names that no one has ever had. Yep. Oh, yeah. That's, I always look like whenever I tried to come up with a name, I always went to, is it taken on .com? Because if it's taken on <laughs> .com, then I can't have that website. Yep. Well... I do have a word for the person who stole my name on Xbox Live. I will find you, and I will take it from you. <laughs> I have a particular good set of skills. Yes. I, are taking Minecraft Xbox names back. That's right. Yes. <laughs> I love I love Razzleberry's story. I like the color pink, and I love foxes, so I thought <laughs> Razzleberry... <laughs> like, oh, okay. <laughs> That's good. Yes. Oh yeah, it is good. I like it. Uh, there's it's definitely a, better than my other Minecraft name, which we're not gonna say. People are gonna probably go look for it now. Blueberry <laughs> no. ostrich. Yeah. I mean, even worse. But no, I'll just let your viewers go and <laughs> you know, oh, in her in info. Wild. You'll find it. We've got a bounty out now. We need to find out what this name is. Uh, we'll announce oh. what the bounty is actually after the fact. But yeah, you guys go find it and tell us what her uh, what her username was before. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I originally contacted Raz because I really, really like from the very beginning of when we did this show. I had a few people, like few uh, corners of the community that I really wanted on, and one of them was texture artists, resource pack makers, skin designers, that sort of uh, corner of the um, community because they didn't seem to get a lot of attention, I felt, from, you know, like a lot of map makers became rock stars and and server owners got lots of people on it. And I felt the texture artists were kind of like doing really good work, but not a lot of um, not a lot of uh, showcase on them. So yeah. really excited to have you guys on because you're both very talented in there. When I talked to Raz, I said, 
come on the show, talk to me about texture. She said, well, you should talk to my guy, Drulkis, because he's a texture yeah. dude. And I'm yeah. like, let's come on the show because I want to talk to you guys about <laughs> customer and all that sort of stuff. So yeah. I'm really excited about that. Now, well, like, not only you have a texture artist here, but you have a artist who did special textures for RTX. That's right. We're going to talk because I have no idea what RTX is besides the three letters. That's my, <laughs> all these pictures online. And we'll, we'll get into that. That's a little bit later. But let's go back in time. And uh, Raz, you kind of started out in the modding scene or got a good, I guess, a lot of people knew you from this thing called DecoCraft, right? And I was yeah. looking at the time, that was like 2012, 2013-ish? Yeah, that that's when it started to pick up, yeah. It was really cool. I saw a video, uh, I don't play with mods, so it was kind of like mind-blowing to me. But why don't you get, tell everybody kind of what this thing was. Is it still active? Yeah, well, it's uh, it's <laughs> it's updated to 112, and I get incessant messages yeah. everywhere. <laughs> what are you <laughs> updating it? I don't, I don't have time, but I'll try. Um so it's back to the I had a plugin server, so bucket back in the day. Mm -hmm. I was always adding really cool plugins to it and I was super interested in plugins that could like I learned a lot about code because I was interested in plugins that could add I was like, why can't we add furniture? And then I discovered that yeah. all of that stuff is done client side, so you can't have it on the server. And it was like super complicated stuff. And I was like very disappointed. Mm. And because mods back then were single player only. You could only play mods on your single player worlds, and that was it. So I was yeah. kind of crushed. Because I was like, ugh, why? So I was like, well, I guess I'll just play mods on my own and then play my plugin server with my friends, this role play server that we had. Mm -hmm. But I had started dreaming of the day when we could have, like, modded servers. And it wasn't even on the horizon yet. So on the side, I started investigating and I got in contact with some coders. And they helped me make, like, DecoCraft 1.0. Uh, the coder, with, with his name is Nopes. Uh, he's Dutch. And he is the creator of a bunch of really popular mods back then. Like, they were, like, top five mods. Uh, custom NPCs. Mm. Um, the other one is Animal Bikes, and the other one was uh, more animal player bikes? models. Animal bikes. Like, like the bike is an animal. Like, well, like you could ride the animals. So, like a sheep, you could get out. Like before, you had horses. Even it's like a a, a sheep motorbike. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> bah, bah, bah. You could drive the animals. You could like sit on the animals and like drive them around instead of having a carrot in front of the pig. And like this is like super Crazy. back in the day when there yeah. was nothing in the anywhere. Yeah. Um. So one day the I started see like I had started on the side and um then one day suddenly I don't remember what version of Minecraft it was. There was the possibility of having mods on a server. So immediately we scrapped plugins, <laughs> which was unheard of, and we had this modded server. Uh, it had its own complications, but we were super happy because we had this roleplay server with medieval fantasy kind of Lord of the Rings meets like all sort of fantasy. Um, and we had suddenly blocks that we could use to decorate like our cities and the interiors and like anything we could think of and it wasn't just relegated to texturing or editing the textures on blocks that no one used or yeah. like how a lot of texture packs had been doing it as well was this um, with uh was this with forge like an early release of forge it was for the servers? early for i think it must have been one two five maybe or even earlier Long than that it, it happened Long. as early as 1.3 really okay well then yeah. So that's when we started Gosh. with this, and it kept crashing and corrupting. And I have this <laughs> world from that time. It's So my husband, Prof, calls it my Franken world because it's gone through all of the updates. Like, we've kept the server, like, the actual server working. And he would write me scripts to clear blocks because Forge wasn't cleaning blocks, and there was corruption oh, wow. everywhere. Wow. And, but but it's survived until now. Um, and you, you still run it? Do you still play on it? Um, I don't, because I don't have time, but yeah. it still exists. Yeah, it's still got a community and everything, so, what? yes. That's crazy. 
Is it public yeah, or just like a private well, server for a few friends? You had to apply because it's a role play server, right? It's uh -huh. not like open to everyone. Like you apply, you make a character sheet, like Dungeons and Dragons y kind of thing. And yeah. then we read it, and if it's good, we let you on. Um, and people just role play, and it's going through a revamp update from 1.7 to 1.12 right now. Uh -huh. um, and. Um, so yeah, it still jump. exists. People role play on it, and the, like we saw kids grow up on this server. Yeah. Like it's a yeah. eight year old server. So like I've had uh, friends that were like thirteen when we met them online, and then they grew up, and now like I don't know, they're some. A fi I have a friend, firefighter <laughs> in Australia, and we met him when he was thirteen, and he was role playing on our server, and then he came to visit Stockholm. And said, can we meet up? And I met him, and he's like twenty now. <laughs> you know, like, kind of like, like, <laughs> the princess and the prince and they met in the server and then they got married in real life <laughs> no it was super cute he was really nice um well he is still really nice but yeah we've had players they come and they go and then they they there's this nostalgia and they keep coming back which is yeah. great because like they meet up every few years we're like oh we should meet up and then we all hang out and that's, and cool. that's pretty cool we, you we gotta, miss it, of course you gotta keep it going for like another 15 years so that their kids then join your server like to they'll go and explore it oh this is where dad and first built and his dirt hut <laughs> <laughs> the map that we released that we had to pull off marketplace because it kept breaking because it was back in the beginning of marketplace where command blocks were very yeah. finicky still and they were working on them we had to remove it from marketplace sadly is based off of that server it's called uh, Alteria. Maybe it's cursed because your server is on the map is servers breaking. And we keep talking about we should yeah. do Alteria 2.0 and release it again yeah. on Marketplace so people on Bedrock can play it too. Yeah. Um, but we just haven't gotten around to it. So yeah, that's where DecoCraft started because we wanted we to day. decorate this roleplay server. And then I was like, eh, I'll release it for everyone who wants to use it. And so the, the video I saw, you had for anybody who hasn't seen it, because Besides this, it's this is no small feat, people. It's got t over 27 million downloads. Okay, so a lot of people have played it, except for me, apparently. That's the video on it. You got gumball machines. You got a lamp you can change uh, with a magical paintbrush wand. You got uh, little, you put like your Patreon people as uh, little small toys on the shelf something. or something like yeah. that. It's a little custom, it's really cute. <laughs> and uh, people still want it. Yeah, that's actually why we got you on the show to say, when are you bringing out the new version? Come on. Uh, Come on. Let's, I'm hopefully <laughs> soon. You don't have to answer that. I was just putting you on the spot. I'm just teasing <laughs> you. <laughs> My husband actually wanting to sit down and update it, him, which is no that. small feat. Yeah. With because that, all the numbering yeah. changed. All the, all the numbering, the, what would what, what they call it? The flattening? I think from oh. 1.12 to 1.13. Yep. Killed me. Yep. Killed me. Oh, yeah. Maker. Takes time, guys. All you guys out there who are waiting for the updates to DecoCraft or, you know, any other mods or maps that you want. This stuff takes time, okay? Be patient. Be patient. Now, you, you got Dralkus in your back pocket here as your right-hand man, your projects. Yep. Dralkus comes from... I've seen your stuff on, uh, on Minecon, your panels and things. And you're oh, yeah inversed in the modding community and i looked at this twilight forest mod yep and you've got like these mythological i don't know harry potter based what is that the big giant snake thing yeah the, like no, a no. Moose room centaur or something like that yeah what are what is this thing so um the, the twilight forest mod was actually originally created by ben mag uh who had been working on the project solo for Years. Six years. Yeah, six years. Um, wow. Yeah, because Twilight was actually founded, a, or it was first published a month after Aether was published. So that's how old it is. And that's also how old the Aether is, too. Yeah. Um, and so, Ben and Mag, um, if you, um, or, he just started, like, uh, being, like, really, really burned out by uh, Twice. 17 so yeah. um i kind of formed like a maintenance group um to kind of uh carry for the project where um he just kind of has all the input but we are the ones who are really carrying the project mm -hmm. um 
Yeah, so we've made some improvements uh, here and then. We're just like waiting to have more personal time to actually like really overhaul a bunch of stuff. Hmm. Yeah. So what are you doing in that? You're like running the mod now, or are you? Um, I'm sort of running the mod. Um. So I've been uh, doing like structure refreshes where um I've done the major overhaul of the Naga courtyard, so it looks more like a actual courtyard. Like it's um it's got hedges and stuff, and you're trying to fight this giant snake, and it's like pushing through all the hedges, and it's just like whoa this is chaotic um uh but yeah there's like a lot of greek uh, mythological creatures in the mods yeah oh i got an i got an idea next update you, you work on you can put void frogs in the twilight forest be a new boss i mean okay? it's a natural fit really. perfect idea yeah. yep maybe. May maybe maybe there's no mate do I'll or do it. not there is no there is maybe. no try. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> I mean, right. we've, we've actually been wanting to have frogs, so avoid frogs. This is it's not a bad idea. Hey, hey, we've got some. We've yeah, got some little. Right. We'll, we'll talk that's after. Right. Okay? Not we'll a bad after. idea. We're gonna yeah. we ask everybody who comes on this show to build something for avoid frog. We're gonna get one person one that's, day. One day. Oh, yeah. One day it's gonna happen. One day. Hey, how how did you guys actually meet the two of you? <laughs> I don't Hello. remember. Oh, um, good job. Great. You should today, actually. <laughs> I can't remember. <laughs> um, it might have been at a... I think we met on IRC. Okay. So, yeah, oh, IRC. Oh, oh. <laughs> so, modders <laughs> and plugin makers, yeah. uh, we used to roam the IRC chats because there was no Discord, right? How yeah. did we all meet? Well, we... Yeah. Someone who started it was you, wasn't it? Who started putting stuff on IRC? She's she's yeah, looking so off at some distant <laughs> figure in the same room as her right now. <laughs> just put a flash problem. of like a, a, like a character on the screen there. Which is talking. <laughs> he started at, um, doing the Minecraft coder uh, MC MCP Minecraft coder pack with yeah. Sarge. They yeah. Both remote after started working at mojang yeah um and i guess the whole since that was like the basis for forge and for everything else because it was like the renaming of obfuscated code so that co modders could code the game like code mods on the game yeah. um they started working there and i guess all of the modders just started to create their own ircs and mm -hmm. all of the modders sort of created this irc community so you could jump from one channel to the other and one was called Tropicraft and one was called MCP and one was called Forge and then like from there like the whole community just rallied around this IRC chat client. Yeah. Um and I think that's where I probably met Drokus because yeah. that's where yeah. I probably met most of the old school modders because there's a whole new generation of modders oh. obviously. They didn't have to go through the pain and torture of <laughs> the old type of coding when you didn't have all these easy accessible programs. Oh yeah. Yeah, um, that's probably where we met, I think. And in person, probably Minecon. Yeah, Minecon 2016. Yeah. Where mm -hmm. was that? Where, oh, yeah, Actually, that? no, we met in uh, San Francisco before that, uh, where you, where you and Prof were in San Francisco for GDC. GDC. Yeah, ah. and uh, we had that hot sauce instant. Oh, the hot. Sauce. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's hear it. We What's gotta the know. Hot sauce oh, sure. Uh, so. It was uh, it was on the Fisherman's Wharf, and so um, we were just like walking around browsing the shops, and so there was this place called the Pepper Palace, and so they ha they had this hot sauce challenge uh, where you had to survive like four drops of their uh, specialty sauce, the Flashbang hot sauce, and uh, this was five Amazing. million Scovilles or six million. They made you sign a a um a <laughs> waiver. You have to sign a waiver. It's yeah. Bad. It, it was is really uh, hot. hot. It is very hot. Yeah. Wow. Like, I, I'm Mexican and I eat a lot of spicy stuff. Like, I love spice. Like, the yeah. spicier, the better. Yeah. I was sick Ooh. after eating that. And it was four drops. I got sick. Like, my stomach started to hurt. Like, I, as soon as we left the shop, I remember Joel was like, I need ice cream. So, yeah. Prop took him to get ice cream. And I remember, I'm fine. And suddenly, when they were gone, I started having a bad stomach ache. And then I just yeah. sat on the floor on the sidewalk oh, no. until it stopped and it took like 20 minutes for it to just stop and it was four drops of this stuff like 
Now, yeah, what's the point of that? People are just obsessed know. with like, I'm a better human for putting myself <laughs> through this pain and torture so I can say, yes, I took four drops of hot sauce from Pepper Palace. So, I didn't think it would be that bad because like we eat habaneros all the time in Mexican cuisine. We chop yeah. them up and we put them on our tacos and like where you get used to it, right? It's nothing. Yeah. After a while, obviously in the beginning, yeah. it's like, ah, yeah. but grow up just, on that stuff. And it's just, I could not understand what was going on. Just for, for, yeah. for everybody to understand here. Okay. Sri Racha hot sauce, popular hot sauce, at least in the U S uh, has about 1500 is about 1500 on the Scoville uh, hot heat ranking. Okay. 1500. <laughs> The Hot Ones, which is a really hilarious TV show with like celebrities doing interviews while they're eating hot sauce, goes up to two million uh, on their yeah. hottest hot sauce. How much did you say that this was? Like six million or six. something? Yep, six million. <laughs> That's just not deadly. Least, that is deadly. In our show. No, let really me not. also speak for the <laughs> reference that uh, there were four peppers in it. There was. Uh, Habanero, Scorpion, um, Ghost, and Reaper. No. The Reaper being the hottest one. No. No. That's not. You know that these plants actually come up with these things so uh, creatures do not eat them and they protect themselves. (laughs) (laughs) Like humans are so dumb. They injure themselves, but instead of stopping the injury, they make little helmets so they can keep doing the injury and then. <laughs> Never again, ever again. And I love hot sauce, but I was just like, that was too much. So then, yep. I, no. I should, I'm unfortunately not very good for our sponsor, Pepper Palace. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. I think um, that's the first time he said that joke that I've laughed. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we do a lot of research here at the Void Frogs podcast, and guests were coming out, dug into a little bit of your past. Uh, some interesting stuff came up when you were five, Raz. At your, no, I'm just kidding. Um, you had you you designed the parrots, I read. Yeah. Yeah, the Minecraft parrots. That's yeah, incredible. She did. <laughs> Give me one moment. <laughs> yeah, I was sitting at my desk at Mojang working on dungeons. Which yeah. I don't remember what it was called back then because you don't Whoa, call it. Wait, right wait, there. wait. So you were working on dungeons when parrots came out. That was a yes. way long time ago. So I was working on dungeons and Maria Lemon mm-hmm. uh, came up to me. She she was like, I'm trying to design these birds, but I'm, I'm just I'm a coder. I'm not a designer. And they, they're oh yeah, I'm a parrot. Um. I'm a coder, I'm not a designer, and I need these, yeah. like, I need to make some parrots and blah, 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 and I'm like, okay. Um, so I, t- well, I, I was like, I didn't have a lot of work that day, because uh, we were doing, I don't remember what, but I had a little bit of spare time. So I sat down and I started, like, trying to make a parrot model that had less parts as possible, you know, Minecraft style. Yeah. Um, and I finished the parrot, and I sent a screenshot to Maria, and then Maria and Jeb come and sit down behind me and sit like and like okay now tweak this and blah blah, yeah. blah. and so and then I just made a ton of colors for them but Maria yeah, only yeah. wanted four she didn't even want the five that are there now oh mm. which so, one's the one she didn't want so you know the cocktail well I made way other more colors but oh, yeah. so I made she's like I want this color this color this color and this color and it was for the world of color update right and I was like or, but we have 16 Minecraft colors. I can make you yes. so many colors. <laughs> That's right. Maria, I don't know. For some reason, she's like, no, I only want these. And I'm like, okay. So I made her four. And then my sister loves cocktails. Okay. So like, I have to get something into the game for my sister. Like, I love these, like, cute little gray parrots with the yellow and the like, cute little chat yeah. cheek. And I, like, I have to do this. So suddenly, another person from Mojang called Patrick comes up to me, and he's like head of like relations, so that like so that they can do board games and like all of the external stuff that isn't like video games. Like that's cool. I don't know concerts or whatever would be Minecraft themed. That was what he was doing. Yeah. I don't know what he does now, but he's still at Mojang. Mm-hmm. 
So he came up to me and he's like, I love cocktails. I'm like, I do too. You have to help me. So we made this whole plan to <laughs> convince Maria to let us at least put cocktails into the game because I had made pink parrots and purple parrots. I'd made a ton of colors, which I still have today. You, can, like, I, I, you say cocktails? I thought that was cocktails. a drink. Cocktails. Cockatiels. Cockatiels. Yeah. No. Yeah. Don't no, make not a cockatoo. fun of her it's pronunciation. It's different. I am it's, not a parrot expert. So the cockatoos <laughs> are the big white and yellow top. Yeah. Like really big. They're actually terrifying. They're huge. Mm -hmm. And there's also some pink ones, I think. I mean, there's probably more, but I don't know. But these are like a tiny version of a cockatoo, and they're cock called a cockatail or cocktail. Cock cockatiel? Also Cock known as a weirdo bird. It actually says that in <laughs> Wikipedia. The weirdo bird. Um, so... I just mean that was like we were like please 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 and everyone was like please Maria let us add this one yeah she's like okay fine and so she added the fifth color and I was right, like I'll I wanted it. a pink one <laughs> so I eventually made a pink one and I put it yeah. into muddle so like all of the other colors that I had oh. in my head I just yeah. made more and I put them into my into muddle they should have so put all, awesome. all the wool colors of the it birds would have been cool right that's oh, why well. we need to be running the lost company, opportunity. Right? Yeah. Hey, that's so great that you got that in there for your sister, though. That's adorable. I love yeah, that. Yeah, she loves. Is she? You can do. Uh, you can do. Um, sixteen shades of white frog if you want to put it yeah. in model. Sixteen shades of void Six, frog. Sixteen. We well, can do sixty if you want. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anyway, I don't know if we're allowed to add custom models to. Come them. on, somebody put <laughs> <a> frog in <laughs> Minecraft. I'll put one in. But it won't be allowed on the muddle pack. We can hide them in a map, though. We can put them into a map. Hey, yeah. Easter egg. Out. Buy Go all of Go all of you right now. Buy all of the Razzleberry maps <laughs> and look Enjoy. for the one. Void Frog. First person to find one gets a high five. <laughs> virtual high five. <laughs> We're going to do a little bit of marketplace. But just before we do that, I wanted to uh, I, I saw on your Raz, I saw on your Twitter thing, Staxel. You mentioned Staxel. This is an yeah. actual non-Minecraft Steam game that yes. you were involved in or you created, or what's your story behind that? Okay, so uh, it's interestingly enough linked to Minecraft. How? Um, I thank Minecraft for giving me so many opportunities. Mm -hmm. um, so we were at Minecon London and mm -hmm. we were at an after party with a few of the Mojangsters and other people. I didn't work at Mojang, neither did my husband yet. Yep. Um, and we were at this party and we met uh, a guy called Bart. And he right. is the owner of a company called Pluckett, who is the company that made Staxel. And we met him and we met uh, two others that also worked on Staxel. Um, um, one is Steampunk Stein, um, who is the lead artist for Staxel, and the other one was, uh, his brother Egad, who at that point I believe was in charge of, in charge of all of the, like, social media stuff. Uh, and we met up and we had a nice talk and they showed us, like, the, like, their game, I think, on the phone, pictures and stuff, and I fell in love with it. I was like, this is so freaking cool. Yeah. Um, and, he said, and he was talking about how he wanted to make it fully moddable, but he wanted to make the moddable part of it easy so that anyone could do it without knowing how to code and blah, blah, blah. And he had this, like, huge idea of how he wanted to do all of this stuff. And so we met him there, and then whatever. <laughs> Everyone went their merry way. Mm -hmm. And a few months later, I get... Like, I start seeing previews on Twitter of it, like, of pictures of, like, super early, like, alpha stuff. Um, and I remember messaging um, Steampunk Stein. I was like, hey, this this looks super cool. Um, like, I love it. If you have, like, an early access copy or something, I would love to just have a poke. And he said, yeah, sure, blah, blah, blah. And, uh, like, a month after that or something, they're like, hey, so we're looking for another artist, and we were wondering <laughs> if you'd like to join us. Um, and I said, yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> so I just started working on Staxel with them. 
Nice. Um, and we worked on it for like three or f- three years, four years. I don't even know. A long time. Wow. Um, and then it finally came out on Steam. And uh, it came out on early access first. Mm-hmm. We got published by Humble Bundle. Uh, we were one of the That's first cool. 10 games that they ever decided to start being a publisher because they weren't a publisher before. Mm. So they picked, I think it was 10 or 5 or I don't know, we were on the first batch of games that they were going to publish through Humble. Mm. Um, so we published the game with Humble and it came out on Steam and Humble and um, all of that. Uh, and yeah. Then it, midway through me pub- uh, working on Staxel, Mojang came to me and they were like, hey, we're looking for someone. I'm like, okay, sure, but I have this other contract. I'm working on another game, um, and it's part-time, um, and I will do that on my not work hours with Mojang, but I need permission because I will not ditch this game for you guys because I don't think it's nice or it's mm-hmm. not ethical for me to just dump them with all the artwork that they have that they need. Uh, because whatever. So Mojang said, yeah, it's not a problem. You can work on both. Hmm. And I was like, okay, cool. Sign the dotted line. Awesome. So I had my full-time job at Mojang. <laughs> and then at evenings I would come home and I would work on Staxel. First of all, that's What's really up? cool that you, that you drew that line. You were like, no, I still want to keep working with this team because I care about doing the right thing. But second of all, it's cool that Mojang allowed you to keep doing that. Yes. I would not have expected that, though I guess I should have because I've seen other Mojangsters that do side projects. Though they don't really have as much time, you know. But man, that's really cool. And you primarily did uh, all the artwork and stuff. Did you do any like design of the any gameplay? Did you have any feedback in like gameplay or, or anything I along think those lines? We were a pretty small team, five or six people. So we all had input on game design, and we had meetings every Monday morning with the entire team. Uh, and then we had a, an extra meeting with just the art team, and I'm supposing that the programmers had their own meeting separate, but the whole team would have like a sit-down to talk about everything that we were working on and game design, and like we were all heard. I'm not yeah. going to say that I was responsible for stuff, but like because I can't point my finger on specifically something, but I do recall suggesting things and being heard and um ideas of mine getting implemented saying, we cool. should make a game we should call it Staxel. it should look like this we should be like that <laughs> <laughs> they listen like, to oh. me yeah. take, no 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 glory. not at all uh, i do remember having like ideas and them definitely yeah. listening to the ideas like it was so pretty cool um but uh and whatever didn't work we scrapped and whatever did work we used and whatever like everyone was heard on that team um For sure. Like it became, after four years of working on something, it does become tiresome. And you start getting tired of working on the same thing. Mm. Uh, The same goes for anything you're working on, including Minecraft. Mm. Sometimes you just want to, like, ugh, stop. I don't, I want to do something else. Um, But, but yeah. Yeah. Um, Yep. I feel that. You ever, you You ever, uh, what's that, (laughs) Q? I just, I just think drunk is like, yep. <laughs> he agreed. <laughs> You're in unison. Uh, no, I, I mean it's. Uh, go ahead. No, it's it's um. No, it's like it's something I haven't heard before. I'm just like, cool, cool. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, okay. Just before we get into marketplace stuff, and I think this is probably related to that, but I am because I've never dabbled in texture art i've talked to people who have done it i've never really understood it i know you can do things with block bench actually that's a lie i did my first block in block bench like two weeks ago and it's just four six colors so that's my skill level in texture good design. job buddy however uh and also talking about Staxel, but all these I remember Drug Drulk as you said you did like hundreds and hundreds of textures for some particular mod on the Minecon panel. Oh How yeah. Is the process behind that sort of thing. Are you yes. just sitting and like putting dots, pixel dots on a thing and uh, it, right? No, I'm uh, so when I texture I focus on the speed, efficiency, and quality all at the same time. Um so 
uh, for some mods where um, I have to, like, the textures are more unique, I have to, like, um, yeah, those need to be more un uniquely crafted, sort of, but um, I just kind of uh, composite the textures in Photoshop. I don't do it pixel by pixel, uh, which is a bit of a too lengthy process. I just kind of uh, composite the whole thing, so it's like layers upon layers upon layers of effects and stuff. Um, I've, I've been doing this for, like, over 10 years, so it's just like, there's a, well, it's art to the nature for you. Yeah, pretty much. Focus is um, way better than I am at texturing. I still do the pixel by pixel. <laughs> yeah. And so, um, but I'm along the way. I've been, I've developed uh, like pipelines to uh, help accelerate a lot of the repetitive processes. So, like, um, have you guys played with Chisel? I have not. I've seen the videos on it, and that's all I've done with it. I messed okay. around with it a while back. Yeah. Okay. So, um, you. Sorry, this keeps coming off. Yeah, my okay. color plant. Uh, um. Yes. Yeah, so. Yeah. So there's like a lot of repeated textures. So like um, you you guys know the purple -pur pillars. So yeah. then we have, and stone pillars, prismarine pillars, uh, stone pillars, mm -hmm. marble pillars, all with the same texture pattern as yeah. the purple -pur pillar. And so um, I have a, a sorry um texturing pipeline that helps me accelerate a lot of that stuff. So. Mm. It would normally take me like 20 hours to get all this stuff out, but um, it only takes my script five minutes to process all the textures. And we we're talking about around 2,000 textures here, 15 minutes to process 2,000 textures. So, yeah, and this is all chisel only. Wow. So, but how, do that... you, how do you do like a like a like a mob? Like you putting the eyes and the face and everything on there. The, the like, I don't know. I don't know how to do any of that stuff. I'm just curious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so there's lots of tricks and stuff you can do. Like, uh, if you're uh, just going to like overlay stuff, or if you're just going to multiply or whatever. There's there's a lot of tricks. A lot of tricks. Yeah. That's my lesson. One on one texture <laughs> tricks. A lot of yeah. tricks. We're gonna. Yeah. We need my, a video my of that. Might not be very long, but I have a lot of tricks here. A lot of yeah. tricks. Not very lossly, but lot of tricks. <laughs> I, I have first, folks. There's no skill involved. It's just a bunch of tricks. That's how you get the texture done. <laughs> oh no, you would need the skills to make the tricks. You, oh, you need the skill to make the tricks. Yeah. I see. <laughs> tricks are for kids. I'm too old for that. <laughs> I'm gonna well, I'm gonna I, make a video clip or just like a, a upload a little video. It's gonna be real fancy intro and everything yeah. of like learning how to texture with Drokus and then just <laughs> just that one yeah. three second clip. You just need the skills for the tricks. Yeah. And then that's right. the yep. end. <laughs> Perfect class, you pass. You win. All right. Hey, so okay. you you actually so you mentioned Photoshop and you mentioned scripts. Yeah. Uh, back in the yeah. day, I used a um, like an applet, I guess you would call it, or some like a plugin for Photoshop called Droplets. Is that still used? Is Droplets still used? Where like it basically repeats for all of the files that you drop into Photoshop, the Droplet uh, will run the same filters and effects and everything to produce the end results. Is is that what you're using or are you using something that's else? that's been renamed to Photoshop Actions, I think. Um, oh. But that's not what I use. What I use is actual the actual scripting system because uh, Photoshop ha now has an actual script system uh, where you just write stuff in the uh, Adobe special flavor of JavaScript. Oh. Um, yeah. Fancy. Come on, that's one of the tricks. You didn't learn it's that one of trick? The tricks. <laughs> that's right. That's right. I got to learn it. I got to learn it. <laughs> Cool, cool. I did not I did yep. not know what happened with droplets, but that's interesting you're writing your own little thing there. Yeah. Okay. So now we want to talk about Razzleberry's A B. For some reason you have A B in the Twitter. I don't know why. Active Logit. What's what? Active Logit. It active means L L C like the, like the Mojang. Little, Arctic Blog. Active Blog. Arctic um, Baloney. It's um so it means weird. LLC in Swedish, basically. Oh, really? I thought it was just like a... Oh, interesting. Yeah, yeah so same way as uh, Mojang is Mojang AB. Yeah, yeah. Mojang AB. There's a lot of them. A lot of, well, companies here. In Swedish, because you're in Sweden. Yes. Um, 
Okay, so you guys started, or was, who was, you just started by yourself, Raz. Yeah. Raspberries. You yes. started grabbing talent from the community. How many people are on the team right now? Oh, that's a complicated question. <laughs> um, okay. So we're, this is where you say, unfortunately, I had to let half of them go. They, I had to let them now. No, um, not at all. Absolutely not. Um, <laughs> Sorry, um, Raspberries, to announce this, but we needed the drama on the show. Mm-hmm. Let's oh. say currently the, <laughs> the core team is between yeah. 15 and 20 people. Oy. From writers, sound designers, trailer makers, wow. PR makers, interior designers, builders, architects, terrain experts. Like, we have someone that does, like, add-ons, modelers, animators, like, the whole spectrum. To make a marketplace map at the level that we need to make them, or that we try to make them. Not all of our maps are obviously at that level, because... Uh, it's like making a small game every time, and that takes months and months. And yeah. we also need a little bit of cash flow from simpler maps that don't make as much, but just so we can have cash yeah. flow to make these massive things. Mm. So we do have like sound designers, um, particle designers, like everything you can like probably think of um, goes into like obviously command blockers, coders. Um, People who know how to do scripts, uh, everything. Yeah. Um, yes. we... and, who, and who is your favorite on the team? <sighs> it better be me. They're all my children, though. <laughs> all, 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 this is my favorite. Joel is sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Today>. <laughs> oh no! Uh, uh, real talk. I'm pretty sure. Uh, I'm. Yeah. One of the people she's had the most aggravations with. Aggravations? Really? <laughs> no, but that doesn't mean I don't like you. Oh. No, we don't fight, no. <laughs> um, yes. <laughs> you made me want to pull my hair out multiple times. Oh. Uh, but, but no, he's a good guy. Um, yeah. I, don't like, I don't work with people I don't like. Yeah. I don't work uh, with people yeah. I don't get along with. Because we work very crazy hours i guess i mean i try to keep a schedule we i try to tell them to keep a schedule we don't do crunch on this team yeah mm. there's no crunch mm. we value weekends no yeah. weekend work unless it's an wow. emergency like yeah. that's not and none of the projects unless they are for say we're working with microsoft or nvidia they mm-hmm. don't have deadlines they're done when they're done that's wow. how we wow. roll that's how we work it's I chill. like that I like that. Sign um, me up. So, <laughs> um, so we do have a core team of like they're the berries, right? They're my team, the ones I work on my personal projects with. Yeah. I have my team. Yeah. But I also help other teams get their stuff out there because of it's getting into marketplace is really difficult. Mm. Um yeah. there's a lot of teams that are very deserving of partnerships on marketplace and have uh, M- Microsoft unfortunately doesn't have the manpower to sift through the tens of thousands because it's literally tens of thousands of applications that they yeah. get. Yeah. Right. Um, so either people that I know I pull onto my team or people that contact me, I have a look at their portfolio and if I like what I see, uh, I give them a shot at pushing their stuff onto Marketplace and eventually I, I'm trying to get them like to apply on their own yeah. so that they can move on to be their own partner. Yeah. Um, right. So, obviously, if they've applied, it's easier. F- if they have stuff already on there, it's easier for them to get approved. So, um, if- I. Go, sorry, yeah. go ahead. Go ahead. For me, it wasn't that hard because I was one of the nine founding partners. They, they, they came, came to knocking. Me. Yeah, that they came knocking. That's girl exactly. who we love. Get her in the marketplace. And she's like, well, I am not putting my friends under the bus for you. Jang, whoever you are. Put another parrot in and okay, we got sorry, a deal. Sorry, We just need parrots, please. <laughs> um, and it was just pure coincidence that I happened to hear about it. And I was like, I'd be interested because they were looking hmm. and they were ta- we were talking and I was like, I'd be super up for doing something like that. That sounds fun. Um, and eventually I got, um, we were one of the nine. So it was yeah. me, uh, Polymaps, Blockwork. Um, Knox crew. God, I'm terrible. The Anasia, 
Uh, I'm sorry you're, to the other party. We are not going to forget this. I don't remember. <laughs> I, I bet Drolkis remembers. remembers. I bet Drolkis remembers. Uh, yeah. I do not. <laughs> Rash knows more than I do. <laughs> um, those are the ones I remember right now. It was nine of us. But it started to grow really quickly. And then now there's like over 150 partners. It's something. a lot. But it's still not as many as creators there exist, right? Mm -hmm. So a lot of these bigger partners have tried to like either get the talent or and bring them onto their own teams. And or like, oh, Pathway Studios. They were not the, one of the first nine, but they were in the second round mm -hmm. of people that got brought on. And they also help people publish through them and then get on marketplace yeah like so that you have a portfolio that you know what you're doing and then it's easier for you to get accepted yeah um because they don't have time to sift through all of it i i'm not going to be able to edit out the cat in the background uh, i'm sorry <laughs> no that's okay i was just wondering that's... what they were saying I... <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna look. I'm gonna look for the list. But while I'm looking for the list, Drakus, how did you get involved with Razzleberries? Uh so actually, uh, uh, so yes, she she was uh, the sole person, but uh, on the marketplace. But um, she approached me before the marketplace uh, started. So we were supposed to work on the resource pat, but uh, unfortunately, I was just like had so many things going on with my life that uh, the resource pack uh, took a long time to get out there. Like, mm. a very uncomfortably long time. Um, so, unfortunately, unfortunately, I believe it might have been one of the first projects worked on, but it was not one of the first pro projects published. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Mm. Cool. Um, Texture was, packs take a long time. <laughs> I'm curious um, about what you look for when somebody submits a portfolio to you uh, and you're deciding on whether or not they'd be a good fit with uh, with you and your team or if you're going to work with any of the projects that they want to publish or or like when when uh, Drokas came and he you know and he's bringing these things to you you know, what did you see of of his project where you're like yeah I want to put my stamp of approval on that and publish it what is, what is that well, what with Jokus, um, obviously, if you were a part of the modding community yeah. from back in the day, especially if you were in Forgecraft, which was this group of modders that yeah. were, not all of them are from Forgecraft, but like a lot of the like the OC modders were in Forgecraft, yeah. and it was this community of modders that worked together to lift each other up. Yeah. Uh, obviously, like every community, we had our drama and our toxic yeah. moments. Yeah. But mostly working together. Um, so anyone who's from there, 90% of the time or 95% of the time will have a stamp of the hell yeah, come work with. Yeah. Um, well, also, I did help you with a few, like, deco craft models. Oh, yeah, think, you helped me yeah. with some deco craft yeah. textures. With met metals, they're my, 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 I fail at texturing something to make it look metallic, but that's uh, yeah. like... Um, so usually that's like they come come from a community that I know well that I was part of and that I think deserve to get compensation for the amount of work that they've put into the community. So yeah. my first the first places I look is in the modding community. Um, after because I'm not really a part of the other bigger communities and there's lots of big communities, but that was my community and yeah. those are the people I reached out to first. Um. A lot of the Razzleberry's talents, uh, or around maybe half of the core team does come from my community, I think. Mm hmm Yeah. Um, and then if, if someone reaches out to me, I usually like to sit down and have a call with them and see if we are, you know, if we vibe. Yeah. yeah. Uh, if yeah. we have chemistry, uh, because that's super important. I've already had one incident of me not having the best chemistry and being like, okay, I think it's best for everyone if it's only happened once uh, if they find someone else to publish because it's yeah. just not working yeah um, that happens but that's that's I think the thing I look for the most because I think it do, they don't have to be this amazing uh, creator uh, I like to see if I can talk to them if we are on the same wavelength and also that they have potential 
Yeah. That's super yeah. important to me. Like, yeah, someone with potential, they don't have to be the, already the best. I don't care. You can come on my team and you can learn. Yeah. But yeah. I want you to fit in with the team and the how the team works. Totally. Um, the rest can be learned. Totally. Yeah, because so, uh, one, um, one of the biggest suits, uh, I believe, uh, well, that I look for when we were, like, kind of recruiting people, because I rec help recruited some people, too, um, it's, like, um, the willingness to want to improve, because uh, it's, like, um, you never really want to think of yourself as, like, done and finished with learning, like, um, you're the master, done with ev all of it, you know. Yeah. And yeah. obviously people that are open to accepting constructive criticism, because we try never to be cruel uh, when we're doing criticism of people on the team, but they need to be open to it. And if you're not open, if you already think you have everything, uh, I have no interest in you at yeah. all. Because... Aww. We as a, if, okay, fine, if we're telling you something, <laughs> it's so that you can learn from it and make it better. Because we do have a lot of veterans of the game developing community as well. We have game developers on the team what? that are like seasoned people, and a lot of the people that do apply tend to be very young. Yeah, yeah. And they all they're you know they're at that age where they're adults, but they're really really young adults, and they think that they you know they they they're like. The end, be all end all, um, and the reality of the situation is that they still have a ton to learn. And if they're not open or perceptive to learning, then I'm not interested in having them on the team because it's just going to be a struggle with them over ego, and I don't want that on the team. I got, Egos I got an idea are for you. At the door. I got an idea for you then. I'll come on as the official Raspberry, <laughs> knock the sense into the guy person. So when you have to <laughs> I'll be like, "Hey, pal." Get better or get out of here. <laughs> Slap. Slam, bam. There you go. Enforcer. Hey, um, Raz, sorry you know, about I, got the list, I got the list here, okay? <laughs> Ready? <laughs> Original Marketplace Blockception. Oh, in Blockception. Asia. Okay, in Asia. Magiverse. Magiverse. My friend at CDF. Knox Crew, who's been Knox on the show. Polymaps. Polymaps. Purdy, who's uh, one of my friends oh, who builds the my maps. Yes. Purdy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Razzleberry Fox. I don't know who that is. Yeah, Sfax made one of the greatest <laughs> oh, texture yes, packs Sfax. of all time. He's and amazing. Blockworks. Oh, Sfax is amazing. Uh, They're amazing. Best built, like incredible yeah. talent there. Yeah. Hey, real quick, before we move too far away from that subject, earlier on, Raz, you you had mentioned that you have projects that are smaller that don't necessarily, yes. they don't have the huge scope and they don't necessarily make that much money or, or, you know, get that popular, but they keep the cash flow going. You're thinking in like a business strategic sense. And so I'm thinking of Wait, that. I'm sorry. Can you take her to some other room? Please? The cat. The, I love it. She, right yeah, she wants to be in the podcast. It's okay. No, honey, you don't know anything about texture. <laughs> Honestly, I'm, I'm enjoying the cat. Yeah, I'm totally, I totally love the cat. All of our millions and millions of listeners, every single one of you, I expect you to apply to work with raspberries immediately. Okay? We're not accepting it. <laughs> um, okay. For now. When I am accepting I'm the new enforcer and matchmaker. Yep. Uh, I will take care of both ends for raspberries. I got one last question. I don't know how we're going to fit this in because Stiff is going to do a lot of editing to get this Ooh. time down. Yep. But yeah. I would be remiss, which I think is the proper terminology for this word, but it might not be, if we didn't talk about RTX because this three-letter acronym is going around Twitterverse, and I have no idea what it is other than it's making all these quartz blocks go purple off the light of the nether uh, <laughs> portal. What in the heck is RTX? Is it like a shader pack? Who's going to answer that question? So, yeah. So, um, RTS comes from uh, the VS new hardware graphics uh, technology where um, in the RTS cards, um, the, the RTS line of cards, they have a uh, new dedicated har hardware for um, simulating lighting models in uh, 3D worlds. And so, RTS is pr pretty much uh, ray tracing. And so, that's the whole thing of RTS. It's uh, more realistic lighting simulations because um, historically in games, when you see lighting, it's um, there's some more like um, more corners cut 
And so, it's not a very realistic line simulation. Like, if you look at Windows, um, it's not really a perfect reflection. And, um, like, if you look at Puddle, that sort of thing, mm. it's, they're not great reflections. But with RTX, those get so much better. Mm. Is this just... Is this Bedrock and Java, or just Bedrock, or just Java, or what, what is this? So, the VS RTX is Bedrock only. Bedrock only. Okay. That is a huge disappointment. <laughs> the Java community... <laughs> Gonna have to get into bedrock. You said something. Man. You said this word that I heard lots of people say. I've never understood what it is. You said ray tracing, and to me, that's a guy on the ground with a chalk line around him named Ray. What is ray tracing? So, um, if you, I'm I'm sorry if, for the viewers if this gets too technical and I lose you guys. I'm Bring sorry. It. I'm not. <laughs> Bring it. So, um. But you guys know how line works like um, um, the light bulb um, like above you or wherever are the LEDs on your screen. Light uh, source. They're, they're casting out like a uh, rays of light and... Damn. Uh, they're casting out like rays of light and uh, they pass it around the room until they hit your eyes. Um, in the non-violent way, of course. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> so ray tracing is a little bit opposite of that um, where... From the viewer's camera, it uh, casts it um, it ca casts out the rays and it goes backwards in the process, uh, trying to uh, like get all the light sources. Um, and well, I mean it's more efficient this way, but oh. it's kind of the working backwards model of how IRL lighting works. Oh, yeah. So you're like casting rays. Vision, vision rays from your camera bouncing yeah. off of things to then hit the source, the light sources, which then tells yeah, you uh, brightness and reflections and shiny and all the whatever the aspects oh, yeah. are of the materials. Interesting. Yep. Do you, don't you think that's like, do we really need reflective water? In my, actually, probably people will say, yeah, we do. We need it in Minecraft. I always kind of like the simplicity of it, but. So there's there's like a yes there's a there it's a bit of, it's a bit of a polarizing thing like uh, I've seen people say like uh, oh we don't really need all this it's not very Minecrafty but others are saying like uh, oh this is great yeah. Minecraft really needed this and you know I see both sides like Minecraft it's what was beautiful about it is like the simplicity like the eight pixels it's like uh, it's sort of like uh, uh, the older like nineties games where it was like pixel based but What's also really nice is like uh, seeing the the breaking technology, like um, uh, the next generation technology, uh, yeah. really having its moment to shine in Minecraft. Because you know, if you're really looking at other games like uh, Battlefront Five or something, like they have ray tracing too, but it doesn't really show it in the way that is dramatic. Unlike Minecraft, where ray tracing is really making its ground in a very dramatic way. Yeah. 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 There's always cool. going to be purists, right? There's always oh, people yeah. that hate HD skins and they like normal skins, <laughs> that hate non 16 by 16 textures, that hate textures. They just want <laughs> vanilla Minecraft. Or that why are you making a 128 super HD texture pack? It looks weird. Oh, <laughs> you know, like there's always no one to be happy. Thing. Yeah. Just but do it's for, all it's for those players who love. Oh my goodness! You see the shadow come down here on the. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I gotta try it out to see the difference because I have I've only seen videos and I'm like, it's a purple quartz block. Sure. I don't get it. I can't. I can't wait to check it out. I think that it's uh, it'll make it for some really cool cinematic type videos, and I love that sort <laughs> of thing uh, as a video creator myself. But man, this we is my. I'm going to say this is um, this is my depressing part because I missed a whole bunch of questions because we don't have time to go so, into yeah. them because we're going oh. into the next round. <laughs> that means we got to have you on again. Yep. But uh, uh, we're going <laughs> to, if you haven't seen our show before, we have a few other sections here. Two. And the first one, in <laughs> honor of our friends from Razzleberries, we're calling it Razzlefire. <laughs> So what we do is we, uh, we give you guys five random questions. Now, how are we doing this? We got... Uh, what? They both can answer the first two. Is that what we want to do? 
Yeah, I, mean, I was gonna yeah. let them. I was gonna let them answer all of them. Yeah. If they, you can answer what you want. Yeah, and they're just gonna put you on the spot. You know, mm-hmm. uh, okay. first question is what's your bank account number, password, yeah. all. That. Try mm-hmm. to anyway. Uh, we we always we we always mention like you yeah. could try to try to answer yeah. like rapidly, right. but you don't have to. Yeah. You know, you can answer razzly. Right, <laughs> razzle fire. Okay. I haven't read these. We kind of switched. I went. I did the other section this week, and and uh, Stifler did this section. So I'm. This is the first time I'm reading this. Are you ready? <laughs> Question number one. Bring on. Okay. Bring on. Well, this is going first. Okay. You can have an unlimited supply of any type of food you want, but you have to add a void frog in the Animania mod in return. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, what food do you choose? Unlimited supply of this type of food that you want, but you gotta add a void frog into the mod. Dirty fries. Dirty fries? Dirty fries? What is I that? I do not know what a dirty... F- is that the five... French fries rules? with, like, pulled beef on top and oh. cheese and jalapenos, oh. all the stuff. Dirty yeah. fries. Yeah, I fries. like it. We call those dumpster fries here. Wow. Oh, mm-hmm. nice! Yeah. I, those are good. That's a good choice. What do you? What food are you gonna pick? I live to supply of foods, but I have to add void frauds. Yep. Yeah, do it. You can say uh, legs would be a good trade-off. <laughs> frog eye soup. Frog eye. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You so have to eat it. We didn't think this through. No, we have to actually send these foods to. The, I don't think the fries are gonna be hot by the time they hit. Hey, goodness. <laughs> the soup might be a little sloshed around in the box there yeah. on the way to. Yeah. Question. Gosh. Go to question two. Question number two. All right. This one's a very, very ominous one. Okay, ready. As the sun dips below the horizon, you decide to go for a walk. Through a forest, lit only by the twilight. A fog rolls in as the cool air raises the hair on your arms. In the distance, you see the shadow of something approaching you. As you call out, asking who it is, a sound pierces through the silence and what little courage you have left. What is that sound? You have to make the sound. Yeah, okay. you have to make the sound. Go for it. <laughs> Drunkets, you go first, I guess. <laughs> okay, so you're, you're saying that I'm walking through basically a twilight forest. Uh-huh. <laughs> and so there's something in, in the distance, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. In the fog. And it makes a sound that scares... <laughs> That's good. That's good. That would terrify me. That would very much scare me. <laughs> you had to see that video. That was... What do you got? That one's getting clipped. Probably the sound of Vex screaming, Mom! One of the berries. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Out there. That's great. <clears throat> I was Excellent. thinking, uh, have you guys seen Dumb and Dumber? And he goes, Oh, yeah. Hey, do you want to hear my <laughs> 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 Oh, I missed opportunity to just go. <laughs> There's, I mean, there you go. That's what we're, yep. we're going to actually move that back. Yeah, let's it's, do yep. it. <laughs> <laughs> Question number three If Razzleberries were in. Minecraft, what potion effect would they have on a player that eats them? Glittery, like, view. Woo! Glittery <laughs> view. view. Glitter, that's, she's, that's, she's a total dev. That would be totally something they could add. I like it. Does it make, Glitter like, view. sparkly sounds, too? Yeah, I, I feel like... <laughs> no, it sounds like this. I love it. <laughs> That's the sound I make when you guys make me angry. Oh, <laughs> oh. oh 
Goodness. Another cat. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> there's oh. the other one. Oh, there's another cat. <laughs> no, she's <laughs> she's quieter you get, though. You, gonna, you got a uh, you got a uh, an effect, Dralkus, or you want to skip the next question? Uh, no, I'll take a hat, but I'm not even sure. Not even not sure. Not even sure. You can come back to us on that one. You get back oh, to no, us. Oh, no, no, no. No, what's happened, what will happen is that when you eat the raspberries potion, yeah. you will start tasting skills in your mouth. Tasting in real skills. life? Yeah, in real life. That is some NVIDIA graphics update. Whoa. I am yeah, oh. yeah. The next generation technology tasted the game. Wow. Like, <laughs> That's no, some that's serious like 5D graphics. Emergent technology XR. Oh, yeah. Wow. Goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Question number four. If Drolkus was a supervillain in a comic book, what would his abilities be and or who would his nemesis be? That's a question for Drolkus, I guess. I don't know. You might have an opinion. I would be his nemesis, and his his ability would be to make weird noises. I don't know. Like, you could say. Oh no, my ability would be dabbing. Dabbing. Because yeah. apparently nobody that. else can dab. <laughs> he sends me dab pictures. <laughs> like, no. Yes, his ability would definitely be to dab. Mm. Yeah. But okay. Who would his arch nemesis be? That's. Drakus, do you know. have an answer? You guys can kind of tag team the answer here. The double dab. The double dab. The double dab. dab. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, no. this is the double dab. <laughs> That's amazing. I love it. Sorry, sorry, Raz. I'm embarrassed. Raz is embarrassed. He is so. Each time I was at, uh, well, no, uh, each MyCon Earth, well, MyCon Live and Minecraft Earth, or My MyCon Earth, uh, Vasky, a fellow modder, he had this genius idea where I would dab in the Fortnite shirt, and I would send the picture to Raz, and she's Whoa. like, <laughs> she's like, you're fired. She really, she really is the arch nemesis. Has to be now. Yeah. Maybe Raz is my arch nemesis. <laughs> All right. Goodness. Okay. Last question for the Razzle Fire round. What is your hype song? Get you going. Get you moving. Get you booming. Ba -ba, ba -ba, ba -ba. <laughs> It was one of the Guardians of the Galaxy songs. Ooh. Mm. What was it? Something that we probably can't play or we'll get copyright. Probably. <laughs> Sorry, we can sing it. Uh, what was it? There was actually I know which one it is. Whoa! The Ragnarok I'm one. Be the Ragnarok Man. one. What? The Le Led Zeppelin. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Uh, which one? Oh, what's the name? Led Zeppelin. I love it. It's called the Immigrant Song. Oh, yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. I love that song. That is a hype. <laughs> that's a good one. All right, John. That's a that's good before, one. That's before your time, man. That's a fantastic uh, yeah. choice, I gotta say. Drolkus, you're gonna have to work hard to one up on this one. Uh, I don't even know if I have one, cause you know. I'm deaf. I don't really listen to music. Oh, oh, no. oh, oh, that was a terrible question. Sorry. Sivard, what is it's wrong no. with you? <laughs> I'm so sorry. It's totally cool, dude. It's totally I'm cool. Leaving. I'm leaving. That's it. I gotta he go. just turned and a remember, different shade of red. Sivard did the Roswell Fire questions this week. Dang it all. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It's oh. totally cool. It's totally cool. <laughs> oh, no. Well, All right. that's the best answer ever. You just won instantly. That's what I have to say. He wins. The next round, trivia. We don't even have to do the trivia. Drokus wins. Oh, come on. No, 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 no. We're going... We're going 
Razzleberry versus Razzleberry. You guys are going head to head trivia contest. Five questions. Yep. Okay. Okay. We, Ready? You can, we'll say, what do you want to do? First person that says it gets. Let's, yeah, let's do that. First person yeah, who okay. says it. So you guys be quick. Okay. Uh, we got five questions. This is the last segment. Razzle okay. Berry versus Berry trivia. Okay. What? You guys ready for this? Bring it. All right. All right. Question number one Marie Collender's Razzleberry Pie is a frozen, pre made, and boxed pie sold at various stores such as Walmart or Target. Uh, I don't even know if those are in Sweden. So. I don't think they are, no. Yeah. I didn't see them in Sweden, no. <laughs> yeah. Possibly Ikea. Never Maybe. know. Uh, in Ikea's a furniture store, though. They have, have food. They have meatballs the best. Oh, they are good. <laughs> those answers are incorrect. Okay, in, in the Razzleberry Pie, what is the main listed ingredient raspberries that's a good answer it's not is it i can't uh, say until you answer it's probably sugar is it sugar's another good answer sugar's another good answer do you want to lock them in go ahead lock them in lock them in lock them in I'm sorry, you're both incorrect. We got it. No. So close, Raz what was, was so close. Raz, Raz, you what? were very close. Blackberries. 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 Yeah. Yep. Yep. Okay. All right. Question number two. Apologies if you don't have this in Sweden. <laughs> Peace tea is a brand of assorted iced tea beverages that originated in 2009 and comes in many flavors, including. Razzleberry, originally produced by Monster, you know, the Monster uh, Energy Drink, Monster uh, hmm. Beverage Company. The brand was transferred to another company who obtained 16.7% of the shares of the Monster Company in 2015. Oh, this is very detailed. <laughs> massive brand corporation now produces the Peace Tea product for the market. Which company? Big name. I, oh gosh, there's two. <laughs> I'm gonna go with PepsiCo. Okay. PepsiCo, good answer. Good answer. Jalkis has got his thinking face on. <laughs> Is not a good answer. Five seconds left. Nintendo. Nintendo. <laughs> Good answer. That's a great answer. I love that answer. That's a great answer. Uh, I'm sorry, you're both incorrect no! again. I can't believe you don't know your own trivia. This is about This is about Razzleberry. Come on now. We're teaching you guys. I will get, uh, you can get a bonus point if you can answer this question. The Peace Tea website claims nothing sweeter than Razzleberry except blank. blank. What is it? Nothing sweeter than Razzleberry except blank. I don't know. Pure sugar. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Peace? Peace? Oh, again, Love? Very close. Peace? Ooh, that's Our really answer good. Is nothing sweeter except you. Uh, oh. <laughs> okay. You I guys are doing great. Well. We got zero for two. <laughs> you got, you guys are the two. We're bad. I love this. This is so good. Uh, my favorite thing. I have two favorite things with this segment. When the person gets all of them correct, which has only happened once, or when the person gets all of them wrong. Uh, so which you guys, not happen yet. yeah, you guys, you guys, yeah. make maybe my favorite people. Uh, <laughs> in, question number three. Um, okay, I, I'm going to give you, this is going to be multiple choice, okay? So I want you to hear the multiple choice before you answer, all right? In 1962, the TV special 
Mr. Magoo's Christmas Carol first used the word razzleberry during a song showing a fictional dessert or sauce invented for the show. The name of this substance, this dessert, this this sauce, was called... What's that? You said 1996? 1962. 1962. Oh, okay. That's before my time. Oh, yeah. Before mine, too. Uh, The name of this substance was called Razzleberry Blank. Now, here's your multiple choice. I want you to hear them all before you answer. Was it called Razzleberry Dressing? Razzleberry Goo? Or Razzleberry Pudding? Goo. It's Mr. Magoo, come on. I'm probably wrong, but that's my favorite. Honestly, no, goo's a pretty good pretty good guess, yeah. You both saying goo because one of thing one of two things is correct. Either it's goo or you're probably wrong. You know? Could be but I have a two two thirds chance of being wrong. Yeah. So okay, I'll, I'll go with uh, pudding. I'll go with pudding. Oh I'll now you're switching goo. to pudding. Okay, pudding. I'm going with goo. And goo? You gonna lock in your answers? <laughs> yes. Oh <Okay. Yeah. laughs> Please let them both be wrong. I'm sorry, you're both wrong again. <laughs> it was raspberry dressing. Raspberry uh... dressing. This is great. Okay. This is... You guys really tried throwing us a bone and we failed to catch it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Zero for three. Question number four. Razzleberry's Fine Gifts, a local Iowa-based gift shop. (laughs) You're killing me. (laughs) Various trinkets, clothing, toys, soaps, even coffee beans. Stifler, there you go. I'm in. They also happen to be an authorized KALA. I'm assuming it's Kayla. KALA dealer, which is a trusted brand for which musical instrument? A specific musical instrument. Kayla, Kala, Kayla, Kala. Kayla, Kala. Dealer. Well, it's one of those pronunciations. No. Kayla, Kala. K A L A. Okay. Which musical instrument? Okay. I, I, I'll give you a hint. It's a stringed instrument. Guitar. So it's a banjo. I heard guitar and banjo. Are those your final answers? <laughs> Here. Sure. I'm sorry, <laughs> you're both incorrect. <laughs> of course. <laughs> it's, it's a u- it? ukulele. Oh, you, okay. This is great. I love well, this. Come on, ukuleles are little guitars. <laughs> They're not that it is. small. It is. Okay. <laughs> yeah. 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 I can't believe you don't know your own Razzleberry trivia. Okay. Final. You. I think you guys. you guys are going to get this one. I believe in you. Somebody is gonna get this one. Please. I'm skipping. I'm skipping to the uh, the very last one. Okay. The Razzleberry Bush, aka also known as Laura Petulum, which which is name whose name is derived from the Greek words for strap and pedal, is an evergreen shrub. Often with bright pinky purple flowers. The plant is grown in many places around the world, but is native to three regions. <coughs> China, Japan, and this massive mountainous region in Asia. Which mountainous region? Himalayas? Yeah, the Himalayas is the only one that I can think of. Is, I only both, have the name for You're both going with Himalayas? <laughs> it's, I am, because I said it first. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I know. I'm so thrilled. I didn't hear anything. Congratulations. 
Thank you for saving us, Raz. <laughs> <laughs> Our, uh, one correct question. You guys yep. are great. Oh man, that makes ah, oh, that's you are powerhouses, truly, <laughs> truly. Know everything about raspberries. Everything clearly. Yeah, clearly everything. All the. <laughs> yeah, everything. That was great. That was really great. We even know about when you've last eaten raspberries. Hmm. We totally do. Yes. <laughs> well, next time we'll have Pepper Palace trivia and which ones you're not supposed to eat. Yep. Yes. Yep. Yep. Thank you so much for playing the Void Frogs <laughs> trivia. That was great. Uh, congratulations, Raz, on uh, on beating your partner there. But congratulations to all berries out there for being a part of this phenomenal team. So inspiring. Being uh, delicious, making good drinks. That's right. Smoothies. They are very, very good. Very, very yeah, good. Yeah, so very good. Yep. So very good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and and you know what? Actually, that is going to wrap things up for us today. Uh, thank you so much, both of you, Raz and Drokus, for being a part of the podcast today. Uh, You're welcome. It's been a real pleasure chatting no with problem. you. It was yeah. a lot of fun. Um, yeah, it was what? really fun talking. Thank you for having us on. Totally. For sure. Totally. Why don't you tell everybody where to find you online, your Twitter or your YouTubes or whatever you, you link to? Yep. Uh, you can find the Razzleberries official Twitter at Razzleberries AB. <laughs> I so, yeah. And mine is just at Razzleberry Fox. Mm -hmm. With two Zs. Razzleberry. Got it. Fox. Noted. Yep. We'll have links to those in the description. And how about Drokus? And uh, so, my Twitter is just uh, just Drokus. That's D R U L L K U S. Two L's, two Z's, and two what? L's. Awesome. And if yeah. people want to take up our challenge that we mentioned earlier, because I, I told everybody go buy all of the Razzleberries maps. Uh, do they just look up search Razzleberry <laughs> in Minecraft Marketplace? Razzleberries. Razzleberries. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Link, link in the description, guys. Go click it and check out all their maps. Check out their work. Um, and uh, you guys also... Sorry, there was one other thing you mentioned with the RTX. You guys have a map. Yeah. Of, uh, we have uh, the Razzleberries map of Temples and Tomes, which is free. Totally free. Um, hey. If you have, if you have hey. a RTX card. Um, yes, but you also have to oh. be on the... RTX Bay as well, so make sure you sign into the RTX Bay through the Xbox and Star Hub and download the um, Up Tempos and Tones map. It's got all the ray tracing beauty of it. It's great. And there's, we a, tiger. On it. there's a tiger there! There's yeah! A tiger. There's a panther, there's crocodiles, piranhas, and butterflies, and toucans, and snakes. Yep. And oh, void frogs. Void frogs? No. But we can. Uh, with an asterisk. With an asterisk. <laughs> <laughs> they're invisible. They're there. They're oh, just invisible. Yeah, in the mind. <laughs> yeah. I get it. Uh. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, hey, that was, that was super awesome to have you guys here. Uh, Razzleberry, I want to I wanna ask you if you could, before we go, I know the show is already like uh, over what we normally do, but I would love to hear from you. You've worked with uh, Mojang. Uh, you were one of the founding partners, marketplace partners. You've worked with other game development companies. A young kid is listening to you right now, and they want to do the same type of work that you want to do. Could you could you give them a tip as a closing word for them? Give them a tip on how they can do what you do. Um, don't get too hung up on thinking that you need to go to a special like university course to be a game developer. That's not true at all. Um, don't feel anxious about it. Keep all of your work in a folder. Everything. The most ugly thing you make in the beginning so you can see your progression as you practice and so that at the end you have something to show people like Razzleberries or like any game company. This is what I can do. They don't care about your diploma most of the time. 99% hmm. of the time. What can you do? That's the most important thing. 
do you, are you, like, if you're passionate and you've been working for such a long time, um, save everything. No piece of art is worthy of the trash can. Everything. Yeah. Save everything. Yep. That's, like, my best, like, advice. That's awesome. Save all the things to make a portfolio. And Drolkus mentioned, yeah. uh, make a backup. Yes. yes. And keep them backed up. Yeah. Like, on your uh, computer, you put them on a Google Drive, maybe you throw them on Mediafire, have... Multiple nice. backups of everything you make. Nice. This is my backup drive. It stores five terabytes. Wow. Good deal. Send them to <laughs> yourself via email, even. That's really good yeah. advice, except for the guy who's painting trash cans. You know, like, it's not worthy of their trash can paint. Yep. <laughs> Q Magnet. Um, I was trying to end on a high note. And <laughs> 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 that poor trash can painter. Yep. I, I agree with Raz. Uh, like, uh, look back on like where you've been coming from. Don't forget where you come from. Um, always, always keep an eye for improving yourself, yeah. and you'll go miles to places. And that's all the time we have for the <laughs> Void Frogs podcast today. We are on Spreaker. We're on YouTube. We're on iHeartRadio. We're on, I don't remember all of them. Spotify, <laughs> Apple Podcasts, Frog, Google Podcasts. There you go. Yep. Thevoidfrogs.com will That's bring it. you wherever you want to go. Yep, to the moon. Download all the Raspberry maps. Watch all our podcasts. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to wash your hands. Don't forget to keep all your stuff that you did. Don't forget the rest of your lines. That's good. I keep going. That's great. Wait, That's good. Up. That's good, Q. I think we're done. Thanks, everybody, for watching. We'll see you all around. <laughs> oh, Twitter.com slash thevoidfrogs. Go check us out. We'll see you. Bye. 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 Peace. <laughs>